Like the video, subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for latest video update. दर्शकों हूँ तो थोड़ी देर पहले की खबर है इंग्लैंड की महाराणी प्रिंसैस एलिजाबैथ टू करोना पॉजिटिव पाए गए हैं उस तो पेल प्रिंस विलियम भी करोना पॉजिटिव पाए गए सन एक खबर हैगी है कॉन्ट्राडिक्टी रिपोर्ट्स ऑन क्वीन एलिजाबैथ करोना वायरस टैसट पॉजिटिव वाइल मैनी यू के मीडिया आउटलेट्स हैव कैप साइलेंट रिपोर्ट बाई यू सी आर सेद क्वीन एलिजाबैथ टू हैज टैसटड पॉजिटिव फॉर द नोवल करोना वायरस बकिंगम पैलेस कन्फर्मड इन ए रिलीज फ्यू मिनट्स आफ्टर प्राइम मिनिस्टर बोरिस जॉनसन रिवील्ड ही टैसटड पॉजिटिव फॉर द करोना वायरस दर्शकों ये बहुत सीरीयस डिजीज़ हैगी वर्ल्ड वाइज बहुत अलर्ट रहने की जरूरत हैगी है द न्यूज़ ऑफ क्यून टैसटिंग पॉजिटिव फॉर द कोविड नाइनटीन does not come as a surprise since there were possibility that she could have exposed to the virus during one of her weekly meetings with prime minister boris johnson who tested positive few days ago royal palace confirmed queen elizabeth test positive for coronavirus buckingham palace revealed the monarch had a face to face meeting with mr johnson on march 11 her health the palace added remains good and stable though she has shown mild symptoms of the novel corona disease ye maharani sabha di photo dekh rahe hai in a brief statement the palace said her majesty queen has also test positive and is currently self isolation at windsor castle the queen came into contact with pm on march 11 and is following all the appropriate advice with regards to her welfare they would be sharing constant updates of queen elizabeth's welfare with public in good faith this is all for now a jada palace di hagi ya the prince of wales who last met queen on march 12 continues to work at his desk in his scottish residence as he is only suffering from mild symptoms queen who left buckingham palace on march 19 looks set to spend next weeks in self isolation so that's ko a disease vakya bahut khatarnak saryan nu bahut ide te alert rehne di zarurat hai we know that for many people life is changing dramatically my family is no different My daughter is now taking her classes online from home because her school is closed. For the rest of the world, that even the most severe situation can be turned around. But the experience of cities and countries that have pushed back this virus give hope and courage to the rest of the world. During this difficult time, it's important to continue looking after your physical and mental health. this will not only help you in the long term first eat a healthy and nutritious diet which helps your immune system to function properly second limit your alcohol consumption and avoid sugary drinks third don't smoke smoking can increase your risk of developing severe diseases if you become infected with covid 19 fourth exercise who recommends 30 minutes of physical activity a day for adults and 1 hour a day for children if your local or national guidelines allow it go outside for a walk a run or a ride and keep a safe distance from others if you can't leave the house find an exercise video online dance to music do some yoga or walk up and down the stairs if you're working at home make sure you don't sit in the same position for long periods get up and take a 3 minutes break every 30 minutes fifth look after your mental health it's normal to feel stressed confused and scared during a crisis talking to people you know and trust can help supporting other people in your community can help you as much as it does them 
check on neighbors, family, and friends. Compassion is a medicine. Listen to music, read a book, or play a game. And try not to read or watch too much news if it makes you anxious. Get your information from reliable sources once or twice a day. COVID-19 is taking so much from us. But it's also giving us something special. The opportunity to come together as one humanity, to work together, to learn together, to grow together. I thank you.